Welcome back to another Trailby tutorial. In the last video, we looked at adding a custom title page, which looks something like this. So we have a title page and it jumps right into our script. But if you notice, there's no information about like this page. We don't know what page number it is. So if we have like a 300 page um, script, we'd wanna have some way of navigating around it and knowing what page you're on, maybe even what uh, if the pages become out of order, what script it's part of. So to do that, we can add a header to the top of our page. So to do that, we click on script and go to headers. And it brings up, similar to the title page, uh, we can add in. So right now, the first thing it says is maybe you wanna have the page number. To do that, it's sort of this dollar sign and then page, and then it has a dot after it. We can keep all this the same. Uh, we can do a look at a preview and see what that looks like. It'll be in the top right-hand corner. It'll say the number of the page. And for an example, it's just 42 in this one. And then we could also say, so that's the, the reason that's up there uh, in the top right is because the alignment is set to right and it's on line one. So we could do a foot or two if we set this way down the lines to the bottom. We can add another element and so this other element is going to be called like, we can call it the title if we want to. So we can call it my uh, awesome script. And we can have this be set to center. Okay, very cool. And we can keep it just like it is. We could do bold italic if we want to. Maybe we want that to be bold and go to preview. Now it's going to show my awesome script. We can see that if we zoom in across the top and then the page number in the right followed by a dot if we want to have a dot after the page number. Um, yeah, so we can get in here and change all these around. And again, if we have multiple pages, it's going to do that on, multiple, on every different page we have. So if Tom's talking like a ton here and we come in, I should just... I should have got some different text, but if we have multiple pages here, uh, oh, did I hit save on that? One thing we wanna make sure we do is go to script, headers. I didn't hit save, so it's gone now. So I need to add this again, new string, and I'll call it my script or whatever, script. We'll do bold and make sure it's centered. Now we hit apply. Now it's going to be here. So now, uh, we don't see it, again, on our actual thing, we don't see that header. We don't see the page number when we're going through here. If we wanna know what page we're on, we can look in the top right and the software, Trailby, will tell us up here where it prompts us, you know, for what we do next, character, action, all that. But it's just like the title page, it's hidden from us until we go and export. So if we go to File and we go to Export, it says there's some errors in here, we'll say that's okay. We'll go ahead and we'll learn how to fix those in the future. I'll just write over top of this test and now, let me close out of this first so we can reopen it. I just saved it to my desktop called test. And we see our title page that we created in the last tutorial. And then we see here, for some reason it didn't do it on our first page. But starting with page two, it has uh, the script. Maybe I need to go through and apply it to, every, to that first page. I don't know why that didn't happen. But this is how it's supposed to look. We see the top, every page should say my script at the top of it. And it should have the page number in the top right. And again, that can all be customized and moved around. If we want to, we can change that to uh, have the page be over on the left, the page number, and the, and the instead of being the center, the title of it could be over towards the right, or we can keep it in the center. So that's how you go about creating a custom header to every page of your script in Trailby. Hopefully you found that informative. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below if you have any, and I'll catch you in the next video.